Okay, so this is problem 3.1 out of Taylor's Mechanics textbook. Before I give you the solution, if you wouldn't mind please liking the video and subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. So to go about this problem, we first need to consider conservation of angular momentum as hinted in the problem, which tells us that the initial momentum is equal to the final momentum, which in this case is, we'll call MVG for the gun, equals MVS, oops, S, velocity of the shell. So mass of the shell is little m, mass of the gun is big M. Okay, so we have that, and now what we can do is consider another equation here. And this is because we're interested in the shell's relative speed as highlighted in the question. So in that case, we can say that is equal to V of the shell plus V of the gun. So this is no different than if you had um, cars and their relative velocity and how fast it looks to you. So we want to find the cell speed relative to the ground. That's why we're adding these two together. All right. So if we take 2 and multiply it by m, we have mv plus mvs plus mvg. And if we compare that to 1 and we set them equal to each other, what we can see here, because this is the same thing as mvs equals mvg, what we're left with is mv minus mvs equals uh, big M vs. And we want to solve for Vs, so that's easy. We just have M big V equals Vs, little m plus big M. And then just dividing over, we have big M over little m plus big M times V. If we divide out the top and bottom by big M, you get, of course, just this, which is what we wanted to prove, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. If it did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll continue to post more solutions.